Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Shout out to all the super chats and donations. I really appreciate it, guys. Now we're here to talk about Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan. Apparently, Bob Arum is looking to match Terrence Crawford up with Amir Khan next. He's looking for the best available opponent for Terrence Crawford. As we all know, Terrence Crawford is coming off of a great win against... Uh, Damn, um, Jeff Horn, my bad. Coming off of a great win against Jeff Horn, uh, where he captured the WBO championship at welterweight, his first major, well, his first title at 147, period, right? So, I mean, the name that's floating around is obviously Errol Spence. We know that fight is damn near impossible to make, so they're going another route. Now, the likelihood of this fight happening is slim to none, in my opinion, and that's with concerns to American versus Terrence Crawford. Now, American, we last saw him stop Phil LaGreco in the first round. Where the hell did he? I don't even know where they fought at, but he beat the shit out of Phil LaGreco after Phil LaGreco uh, poured water in his face. Like, that was some weird shit. But American matching up with Terrence Crawford, I mean, in theory, it's, it's an interesting fight. Amir Khan's got some blazing fast hand speed, and those combinations are going to come, but he don't get knocked out within three rounds doing that shit with Terrence Crawford. I'm sorry if you're an Amir Khan fan, but Amir Khan's not beating any of these top welterweights. Amir Khan, you know, his time has come and gone. He sat on the shelf for so long, decided to fight Canelo, got knocked out, just... Not doing anything with his career, man. He don't deserve a title shot, to be honest with you. What has he done to deserve a title shot? You beat Phil LaGreco, that's it. Before that, when we, what was your last win? What was, what was Amir Khan's last win? He fought like twice in the last four fucking years. You know, excuse my French. But Amir Khan ain't shit, man. We all know what the game plan is with Amir Khan. Amir Khan is going to fight someone that he can beat when he gets in the ring next because they're looking, Eddie Hearn is looking to match Amir Khan up with Kell Brook. And the same goes for Kell Brook. He's going to take a light touch like this Cook guy. Who the fuck is this guy he's fighting from Canada? And, you know, some of you guys on Twitter, oh, uh, yeah, this, this is a good good guy. This is a top 10 opponent at at, at uh one one six at one um. 154, like, who, no, who, who is this guy? He ain't never been on my TV before. He ain't never, who is this guy? Well, what world titles has he held? Look, Kell Brook doesn't need to fight in Eliminators when he has an opportunity to fight Jamel Charlo, the WBC champion. Remember, Kell Brook has the silver title through the WBC. It's as simple as going to Suleiman, hey, man, I want to fight for a world title. Make me the mandatory against Jamel Charlo. Easy work. Come on, man. That shit's built in. But back to this Amir Khan fraud, man. Amir Khan been stealing money since day one. You you beat Phil LaGreco, and, you know, you looked impressive. He looked very impressive against Phil LaGreco. But Phil LaGreco was an overmatched opponent. This is the guy that he disposed of in 26 seconds. How, how, how fast was that win? It was super fast, right? But, you know, if I were Amir Khan, you know, he's looking to get a title shot at 147. You know, you know, there's not many options for you at 147. I mean, these guys will fight you for sure, but you're, I don't think you can beat any of these guys at 147. I don't think you beat Terrence Crawford. I don't think you beat Keith Thurman, not even in Keith Thurman's present state. I don't think you beat... Uh, Sean Porter or Danny Garcia, and I damn near don't think you beat Errol Spence. You know, I think, man, all those guys beat you, dude. You lost to Danny Garcia already anyway. So whoever went, man, can you imagine Danny Garcia? Can you imagine Sean Porter versus Amir Khan? Like, man, that shit. Why are none of these dudes fighting each other, as a matter of fact? None of these dudes at Walter Wade are even fighting each other, man. Terrence Crawford can't fight nobody because he worked for top rank. Danny Garcia and Sean Porter, it's about fucking time you two are fighting. Nobody want to fight Earl Spence except for Terrence Crawford. Matter of fact, you motherfuckers really think Terrence Crawford want to fight Spence? He was on the radio today talking like, well, you know, if it makes 
if it makes sense monetarily, then we could probably make it. What do you mean? What, what the fuck you mean? Just fight them, right? Both of these motherfuckers on the same shit. I know I'm getting off topic, man, but these welterweights are pissing me off, man. I mean, Keith Thurman and MIA, I just seen Keith Thurman on the back of my milk carton because he's been missing in action. Keithy Poo don't want to fight nobody. Uh, so, again, just like Kell Brook doesn't have any really good options at 154, Amir Khan doesn't have many good options at 147. Yes, the champions at 147 would die at a chance to fight Amir Khan, but Amir Khan loves blowing smoke up everybody's ass. Sorry about he want to fight this guy and this guy and this guy. And you guys might fall for it because he went up and wait to fight Canelo, which was suicide. And he got knocked out. And, and you know, again, he's going to, he's he's the type of guy that when he gets older, he's going to have trouble remembering things because he's been knocked out so many times. And I, and I hate to say that about the guy, you know, but, you know, I just, Amir Khan, just, just fight more, man. We just want to see you fight. I have no problem with, with watching Amir Khan fight, Okay. He he's got some he's got a little bit of skill you know he's a decent boxer got some really fast hands though man just it's that glass jaw that's always been his problem and it will always be an issue you can't you can't strengthen them neck and brain muscles your ass getting knocked out you don't know what year it is and shit after you wake up but American you know let's just 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 fight Kell Brook man that's who you need to fight you need to go up to 154 and fight. Kell Brook and get that shit over with and just retire from the sport of boxing because you're not gonna fight Terrence Crawford. If you fight Terrence Crawford, you might you might have to fucking just stop boxing and then on out, you know, because he's gonna put you in a body bag. Matter of fact, you've been putting body bags so often. Terrence Crawford's gonna put your body bag in a body bag. Hitman boxing. Drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. I'm out. I woke up in a strange place. Right next to a strange face Head banging like a drum I do not know what I've done I see a couple empty bottles Thinking it's today but it's tomorrow New day, same shit And I think I got a habit I'm feeling like a scum this world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another Oh, the contradictories That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free Most would say that's not normal, but for me life is but a dream And your reality is what it seems I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist Staring out in space, scheming what my next move is I'm thinking that it's time to move west No idea what I'm doing, I'm just trying my best Not exactly where I thought I'd be Honestly, a 9 to 5 never was in my dreams I've been feeling all alone lately Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby When I came up out the womb Everybody knew It was something special about me that fills a room I never understood it But my OG told me it's a blessing I should use it to the fullest And that's what I've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of I had a suicide dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to
to endless roads. I wanna be free from this army of clouds.